Hello and welcome back. This is my 121 cents. It's all about my life in USA. The time is gone to carry lots of Indian stuff by traveling to USA. This is a time to think smartly and practically. The world is changed. The international market is changed. Nowadays, all the Indian stuffs are available around the world. So don't you think we should need to change our mindset? When we come to USA for the first time, we start comparing US dollars with Indian rupees. And without thinking, we start saying everything is expensive in the USA. But actually it is not true. Let's compare the average salary in US with the average salary in India. The prices are relative. You have to carry only those kind of things that are not available in US or stuff that is very expensive. In this video, I will discuss about the things we should carry from India to USA. It is based on my practical experiences as a smart housewife. After my personal observation, I can tell you two important points that will help you to finding out what things are expensive in USA so that you can make your list of items according to that. First point, labor is expensive in USA. So any item which is labor intensive will cost you more. For example, cleaning products, shampoo, bath soap, toothpaste is manufactured in a factory with little labor in both the countries. So its cost would be almost the same. On the other hand, if we need a tailor-made shoes, then it would be expensive in the US as compared to India because it requires a lot of labor. Second point, all the products which is less than 60 rupees will cost you $1 in the US which means while the cost of expensive items would be almost the same but the cheap ones will be expensive. You will get 600 rupees short for 10 to 15 dollars in the USA, but 2 rupees eraser will cost you 1 dollar. So you can bring smaller one and cheap things which is less than 100 rupees. Uh, like nail cutter, uh, uh, lip liner, sharpener, eyebrow plucker and uh, uh, tongue cleaner and small accessories. Now let me share the list of things which is must to get. First, documents. This is the very important thing we think about while packing our luggage. First, we need to segregate the documents. The documents we need to carry along with us and the documents which is not compulsory to bring along with us. The list of documents we need to carry with us I have mentioned in the description box so please check this out and I made one separate video for that. You can click on i button on the right top corner to see in details. Second, uh, address and contact information. Address where you are going to stay and contact information um, contact information of the person are uh, you going to meet after landing. I would suggest keep that in hand written for safety side. Maybe you, will, uh, you may need this uh, while your phone or tablet is out of charge. You will have to fill out the address in the I-94 form that you submit at the port of entry. Also, you would need to carry the information of the person you are going to meet in America. It could be your manager or one of your company's employees. Uh, as I said before, now that nowadays things are changed. Don't bring lots of Indian groceries along with you. You just need to check that whether there are lots of Indian communities where are you going to stay. Uh, it is highly likely that there will be Indian stores and where you can buy all you need. Still, if you want to bring, bring it in small quantity but just sufficient for 15 days. Or uh, the second thing is it should be in company packing, not loose packing. Then kitchen utensils. It is a common belief about pressure cooker is that we cannot get it here. I was thinking the same before but when I lost my bag which was full of kitchen utensils and groceries and I have bought everything from American stores. But still if you want to bring a pressure cooker with you, bring a smaller one. Don't bring very big 
pressure cooker which is completely which is which is not necessary here and uh, in uh, inside the pressure cooker you can put uh, liquid items like hair oil uh, cooking oil and clarified butter i have bought pressure cooker from amazon and uh, i am very happy with it uh, so i bought uh, this pressure cooker for 35 dollars only uh, spoons plates dishes bowls knives no need to uh, carry from india you can get it uh, from here from in american stores now personal items uh, if you have any skin related problem then you can bring that kind of cream or soap only otherwise there is no need of them and uh, if you are wearing contact lenses or uh, eyeglasses then it is advisable to bring one extra pair of the a pair of this because uh, glasses and lenses are quite expensive here our physical body is used to with general medicines which we used to uh, have in our home country so it's a good idea to have uh, our regular medicines until we adjust to the new weather so uh, get some general medicines that you normally use like crocin paracetamol or painkiller for viral fever cough and like so it is called over the counter medicines which we can buy without doctor's prescription if you need to bring a special medicines like for asthma diabetes or migraine you have to have a pres doctor's prescriptions along with you it might be asked for a, a prescription at the immigration checkpoint uh, if it is not over the counter medicine then clothes there are two categories of clothes formal and casual wear formal or casual wear and ethnic wear so don't bring lots of casual wear because uh, it is uh, it is good uh, it is advisable to buy uh, clothes and other stuff to get along well with fashion and trend in the USA but but i would highly recommend that bring 10 to 15 pairs of undergarments because uh, normally people do laundry here once a week ethnic wear uh, indian traditional clothes you can uh, clothes and footwear you can bring according to your choices uh, because it is costly and less in quantity here uh, if you are a cotton lover then i would highly recommend that uh, bring some extra cotton uh, uh, garments with you because uh, it is uh, expensive for women i would uh, like to suggest that uh, bring uh, cotton undergarments along with you here because uh, um, uh, I, we don't feel that much comfort in uh, American undergarments. So it will take time to get used to with it. Uh, then your cell phone uh, or other electric uh, uh, electronics like uh, tablet or laptop. Uh, it is a common belief about cell phone that it is not working here. But our Moto G and Lenovo phones are working here very well. We just needed to uh, bought a charger and uh, you can uh, buy a USB cable for, uh, charge for charging your phones and tablets uh, for initial days and after that you can buy a uh, universal adapter. Uh, uh, then cash and debit cards if you are coming uh, on H1B then your company may provides you some amount in advance in form of cash and debit card uh, cash uh, must be a uh, cash must be obviously in American dollars and the card uh, which is prepaid uh, international debit card uh, it is advisable to carry cash because it might happen that your card is not working in some stores it happened with uh, it is difficult when some stores are uh, not accepting cash and our card is not working so make sure which type of card your company is providing you uh, this is my conclusion after lots of hassle and stress while traveling is uh, bring only the things which is not available in america at all second uh, you should bring only the things which is very expensive and unaffordable for us third thing uh, you should bring the, the quantity uh, only which is sufficient for 15 days uh, if you need some more items then bring this uh, in ship this in courier letter on but don't keep lots of stuff with you along with you while traveling especially if it is first time you need your mind free to tackle with language accent problem uh, cultural shock and uh, to observe new systems set your priorities don't worry everything is available here uh, and don't worry about indian stuff you can get it here for sure trust me you can get it here 
or and focus on new learnings to the new country where you are going for after all as someone said when you in rome be a roman same like if when in america be like an american if you feel this video will help in your journey don't forget to hit like button and subscribe my channel to see my future videos and do comment in comment section below i am really very excited to read your comments and i am waiting for that so see you next time till then keep learning being a lifelong learner